Everybody knows Justin Gaethje is a bit of an odd duck. Everything he does and says is kind of off. He likes to get hit in the head. He likes getting KO'd and the feeling you get when you come to. And he says he wants to die in the octagon. But it's not just the stuff he says. It's the way he says it. The slight slurring of the words. The unsettling eyes. People like to joke about CTE and brain damage, but the situation is not funny like that. Justin is a victim of intergenerational heavy metal pollution. And I have proof. Gaethje is from Safford, Arizona. Not only is Arizona the largest producer of copper in the United States, but Safford itself is smack in the middle of one of the most productive copper producing regions in Arizona. There is a copper mine beside Safford called the Safford Mine and the largest copper mine in the state is the Morency Mine, not very far away. Both are owned by Freeport McMoran Inc., an American mining company with operations from the American Southwest to Indonesia. It is a well-known fact that Justin Gaethje and his father and grandparents and probably grandparents before them slaved away as copper miners for the Freeport McMoran Mining Company. Most of the people are tied to the copper mine in one way or another. My dad's been working there 30 years. Both of my grandpas, they retired from there. My brother works there, all my uncles, my cousins. It's the biggest open pit copper mine in the United States. Gaethje's father worked at the Morency Mine for 36 years. His brother worked there for 10, and Justin himself worked there for a summer when he was 18 years old. Freeport McMoran has a spotty environmental and humanitarian record. Their Grassberg mine in Papua, Indonesia, is the largest and most profitable gold mine in the world. Yet eight workers died there in a landslide in 2003, and two more died from exposure to sulfur fumes from that incident. An Indonesian government report deemed the company was negligent but this was overturned later, and the deaths were attributed to natural causes. In 2013, a tunnel collapse killed a further 20 workers at this mine. This incident resulted in an accusation of negligence by the Indonesian National Human Rights Commission, but nothing has come of it. Freeport McMoran was ranked the 13th biggest polluter within the USA in a 2014 report, and has been excluded from the Government Pension Fund of Norway due to irreversible environmental damage in Papua. A 1996 report endorsed by the company itself found that tailings from the Papuan gold mine had polluted a large area of the nearby rainforest and that 3.2 million tons of waste rocks had been dumped into the local river system. This has led to issues for local native groups, which are already being mistreated by the Indonesian government. In fact, Freeport McMoran has been alleged to fund the Indonesian government's military and police activities in West Papua to the tune of millions of American dollars. Freeport McMoran's shady business practices are not limited to the developing world. The U.S. city of Blackwell sued the company for zinc contamination, and Freeport McMoran settled with the city for $54 million and the residents of the city for $119 million. This leads us to the company's most relevant scandal. In 2012, the U.S. Department of Justice announced that Freeport McMoran would pay $6.8 million to settle federal and state charges pertaining to the toxic outflow from its Morency mine in Arizona. According to the complaint, waters, soils, habitats, and birds were injured or lost as a result of these dangerous substances. In 2019, Justin Gaethje's father retired from the Morency mine after 36 years of full-time employment. If you think Justin's behavior is attributable to anything besides intergenerational heavy metal pollution, you are a fool and are probably paid off by Freeport McMoran. Long-term exposure to copper, especially over generations, can lead to copper buildup in a person's body. This causes copper toxicity the symptoms of which are often confused for psychiatric disorders. These include mood swings, <laughs> irritability, You're a bitch. Falcon, Shut man, you sound up. so illiterate over there. Shut the fuck up. No brain cells talking about people's family. Depression, 
Content with what just happened, as stupid and crazy as that sounds. You know, I felt so comfortable in there, so good. The best I've ever felt. Fatigue. Excitation. Difficulty focusing. Hey, look at me, look at me, look at me. The last time you got too comfortable, okay, you got stopped. Twice. And feeling out of control. Justin Gagey doesn't have CTE. He has intergenerational heavy metal poisoning that is causing his brain to degrade rapidly. His desire of his brain damage. In fact, it seems to be his medicine. The only thing that can make Justin feel normal is getting a concussion. Demon Bobby. Demon Mommy.